Uh, hey, more shout-outs just popped in. Can you do shout-outs <laughs> to my girlfriend, Louise, and thank her for a home-cooked roast dinners for the last two nights. I'll chuck in a tenner. Ta much. Is that I Can guess the people from the UK are awake. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts, Louise. Home cook roast dinners for two nights running? Nice. Lucky. Yeah. Make enough roast to eat for a week. What's that from? <sighs> that wasn't from anything. I oh. just said it. It sounded like <laughs> that, that was you, from my brain. You pulled an Alex. That was, it's <laughs> like that thing that he does where it sa he says something in a manner that sounds like he's quoting something. And then we're like, what was that from? And he's like, I just said it. <laughs> it, was, it, it was just the way that you were like, make enough roast and you can eat for a week. It was just like, <laughs> it sounded like a PSA from somewhere. It's something called batch cooking. Oh, yeah. and I'm aware of the content. Oh, my God. Food prep. What? Please, Matt, tell us more. It's the hottest new thing from Silicon Valley. Basically, what it is, it's called food hacking. You make a bunch of food one day of the week, and then you can eat it over the course of the week. It's cheaper, and it saves time. <laughs> I've got some venture capital for you. Awesome. You can uh, you can share it with those who are co-living with you. This is real? <laughs> yeah, that's a real one. Co-living. Oh, co-living. <laughs> is the- Hey! You invented roommates. Yeah. yeah. You invented leftovers. Oh Julie, I'm so Julie. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little further if you want to be in charge. 